Today we are celebrating Melissa Carter. It is her last day with The Burt Show, and she has been with us for 10 years. Mm -hmm. I am really, really struggling today with you leaving. Oh. I really am having a very, very difficult time today. And I'm trying to be funny in between us, not talking about Melissa, and I'm just a phony today. I walked in this morning, and... The entire studio is decorated in orange and white for my Tennessee volunteers, and um, there's posters up. And I mean, the effort to blow these balloons up and put these posters together and get these pictures. There's pictures from the 10 years I've been on the Burt Show all over the studio. I understand the effort that was made to make this happen, and, and I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. The running joke on the Burt Show is that if you listen to celebrity interviews, you do not hear me. Uh, the past year on the show, Burt has actually challenged me and said, I require you to at least ask one question to force me to get out there and do it. And so I had to uh, interview Leonardo DiCaprio solo because none of these guys were available, which I still think they set me up. And, uh, and the, I didn't know how to end the interview, and I told him good success to you. He's Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> anyway, so. And it was so peppy, too. Yeah, what, good, good success, success to you. you. <laughs> right, well, Leonardo DiCaprio, thank you so oh much for God. joining the Bird Show, and uh, good success to you. Thank you very much. He didn't know it. Good so. success to you. Good what success. the? <laughs> 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 Weather for today going to be partly sunny today, but storms tonight. High of seventy four. It is fifty nine, and that is your last newscast. I'm Melissa with the Burt Show. Yeah. How you holding up, girl? I'm all right. I'm all right. But every, you know, we we talk about how everything's the last thing, and that was my last newscast on the show because I did for Nashville, and Indianapolis. I do news here locally, and uh, so yeah, that was my last newscast. So, and I've been doing news for 15 years in morning radio, either writing it or, or uh, broadcasting it. And I love news. So, um, thank you for letting me do that. Can't you still do it at home for show? <laughs> I can't. Is that will last two days. <laughs> like, Shut <laughs> up! <laughs> I don't know if I ever told you this, but 10 years ago, I started on the show as an intern. And I didn't know who Bert was. And I didn't know who Jeff was. And I didn't even know who Lindsay was. But I was a listener of The Morning X. And every day I came in here for months, starstruck to work with you. I think these past three and a half years that I've gotten to sit next to Melissa Carter, she has made me a stronger person. And I owe the, my radio path so far to her. This growing path that I've had, this strength that I've been able to, been able to get, I owe it to Melissa. After today, the first person I see every morning will be someone other than Melissa Carter. That's true. She's the my wife is sleeping. <laughs> and my kids aren't up yet. I don't see anybody. The first person I have seen in my life for the last 10 years is Melissa Carter. And starting on Monday, that's going to be a different face. Today, I am sad. I am deeply sad, but I am so grateful for every second you spent contributing to this show's success. And I can genuinely say you've made me a better person. And I thank you for that. Thank you. I really do feel like God has had a plan for your life. And I feel like it was in his plan <laughs> to have you on the radio for these 10 years and to have you on this show to be able to share your life because of the people you're able to connect with that you'll never even meet. I do think um, the community is not as good of a place if you're not behind a microphone. I can't wait to see what's in his plan for you next. Because how amazing this part of his plan has been.